Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another one of those videos where I talk about some of my most complimented perfumes. Now I have done two videos like this in the past which if you want to go ahead and check out definitely go ahead and do that. Um, you will find a lot of other recommendations there. I make it a point to not repeat any of my most complimented perfumes like if I've mentioned it in a previous video I'm not going to mention it again um, but there are some perfumes that I constantly over a period of time always keep getting compliments on and then there are ones which it's like a one-off thing where people actually notice the scent quite a bit when I wear it. Um, so any which ways, keeping all of that aside, I already have two videos where I speak about five perfumes each. And in today's video as well, I'm going to speak about five perfumes. I don't want to have like a super long list and overwhelm you guys with a lot of things. And then the video also gets super long, which it anyways will. So um, yeah, in today's video, I'm going to share with you five more perfumes that in case you're interested in checking out um they are ones that i have personally gotten compliments on and i think they're all great scents um the fragrance notes and all of that are pretty great uh some of the perfumes i may or may not be a very big fan of but um, any which ways we're gonna jump right into this video and i'm um, and i am gonna talk to you about five perfumes that i have received compliments on um overall like in general so um, yeah let's jump right into that um, now I will mention that I don't have any of them um, to show you personally a lot of them I either don't have I have used them up or like there are different reasons for every one of them but um, yeah for that reason I'm not gonna actually show you any of them but I will try to insert pictures right here on the screen um, so in case you are wondering you can like it'll be helpful for you and of course I'll list a link everything down below but let's finally jump right into it the first perfume that this is probably one of my favorites out of this whole list and if it is one that i actually see myself repurchasing and getting it back into my collection i had a travel size of this before and i used it up completely absolutely loved it and that is good girl by carolina herrera like the scent it's inspired by that but it's not the actual um, shoe that one also i do get compliments on but today in specific i'm talking about um this brand called sense perfumes which is basically like a homegrown like when i say homegrown i mean like they literally make it in their home i'm pretty damn sure they do uh and uh they basically make inspired versions of designer perfumes. Uh, I don't talk them talk about them a lot these days because I'm actually focusing on a lot of other fragrances that I have in my collection. But um, I remember like placing a huge order with Sense perfumes. I bought like 13 to 15 fragrances out of which I would say there were like five or six that were really standouts that I personally like used a lot. Uh, I have worn a lot and good girl by carolina herrera but like the inspired version of it is one of them uh this particular scent i would say is a really really nice um fragrance just on its own if you want to understand what it's going to smell like i would personally say that it's not a hundred percent dupe it's like 80 to 85 percent similar but there is something in the og carolina herrera good girl that this particular version does not have um there is some note in it that i feel like makes it um, really stand out like when you actually smell the OG uh, Carolina Herrera it smells like nothing else that you have ever smelled I know on the internet there are some people who say that okay it's overrated some people say that no it's a really good scent we absolutely love it there are mixed opinions on the OG and of course now there are a lot more flankers too I will just just talk about the OG because that's the one that I feel like really stands out i am not a fan of any of the flankers that i've smelled till date and i have smelled a few of the flankers uh, the legere a lot of people like i don't really like legere as much uh even the very good girl the red one i would say i was not a very big fan of i just prefer the og personally but there is a note in it that stands out that this particular version doesn't have this particular one i would say when you spray it on you can tell it's the same family it's warm it is sweet it's feminine it's definitely very sexy um this is one that i would personally say uh depending on if you are like wearing this to college or office like where you're wearing depending on that it's something that i wouldn't wear in a very formal corporate professional atmosphere i could wear it to work because my office is not um, like super duper strict when it comes to dress code or etiquette or like how you wear your makeup or how you wear perfume 
they are not very rigid when it comes to that which is why it's fine but uh, otherwise i would say that uh it's definitely more of like you're going out um you know maybe you're going for lunch or dinner you're going out with friends or maybe you're going out on a date uh that's the kind of um you know situation where i would personally wear this particular scent i wouldn't wear this uh you know to office per se but it's a really really nice scent and i have to say that i really love the fact that these perfumes are super duper affordable it's very good quality a lot of times i find that if a fragrance is super affordable uh the longevity is not as good it's not it doesn't it definitely feels like it's a more affordable scent you know um i don't find that to be the case with this particular brand so even though it's home grown or whatever it's still very very good quality but also at an affordable price tag because i understand that not everyone has the money to go out and spend and buy a bottle of the og carolina herrera good girl so um even though it's not a dupe i would say that it's a really really nice comparable scent that you should check, definitely check out and i personally think it will get, get you compliments if you wear it around to me i will definitely give you a compliment on your fragrance that's how amazing this one smells so yeah that's that for good girl by scents perfumes now moving on next let's talk about two fresh scents that i have personally got compliments on um one is like super duper fresh like a proper clean fresh scent the other one is more of like a fruity zesty citrusy kind of scent the clean fresh one i'm talking about is aqua di joya by giorgio armani it's the green color bottle uh, this is one that i again had heard a lot about so i decided to get a decant of this from anissa uh, when i saw it listed on her page and she described it as a scent that no one can ever not like uh, which totally makes sense to me even now that i have owned it like the decant obviously smelled it worn it i can tell this is something that definitely no one will not like even for me personally i would say it's not like i don't like it it's just that it's a very simple clean, clean fresh scent that's all that it is there is nothing more to it so on a super hot summery day when you don't want to wear something that is super sweet gourmand um, extremely warm or something like that that is the day when you would wear a fragrance like this personally um i got a compliment from this from my colleague actually because i again like i said don't tend to wear a lot of clean fresh scents so when she smelled this on me she really she really liked it and she doesn't she has a very different preference when it comes to me and like her scent preference and my scent preferences are very different is basically what i'm trying to say so when she smelled this particular fragrance on me and it's not like my personality um she was like wow that's surprising that you're wearing this and i was wearing this like sometime in march i believe so that's why i was wearing this um otherwise i typically wouldn't so um she's the one who gave me a compliment on this so i would say that if you are on people who like clean fresh scents or you yourself like clean fresh scents uh that's you know a fragrance that you would want to get that being said i just want to mention that i am not a very big fan of this fragrance because of a the longevity and b the price obviously it's giorgio armani so it's going to be expensive but um i would expect a fragrance that costs that much to also have more longevity than it does i would say it lasts for maybe like 3 to 4 hours nothing more than that which to me personally for how much it costs i don't think that makes sense so um that's why i'm not a very big fan but um again if you're someone who likes that and you don't mind spending the money because i understand that clean fresh scents typically don't tend to be very long lasting so that's just what it is um so yeah take it for what you will and make up your mind uh moving on next to another uh, more citrusy fragrance now this is one that uh back in the day i loved to bits i still have i think like i made my own decant out of my own full bottle uh to make it more travel friendly basically uh that is versace eros perfume but it's the edt not the edp so there are two versions which i didn't know earlier the uh edp has a plaque which is like a solid plaque whereas the edt has more of like a clear uh, bottle uh, of course it still has the plaque and all of that but uh, this particular one has more of like a i want to say lemony sort of color like it's green it's yellow it's like somewhere in the middle and this particular scent is a super fresh zesty it's dolce and um, 
Dolce and Gabbana light blue, but like way, 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 way better. That's the kind of like citrusy, fruity, zesty fragrance that I would actually like. I do not like light blue, but I absolutely love uh, Versace Rose Pour Femme. This is one that I loved to bits like in 2019 when I got it. I loved, loved, loved that scent. It was one of the most expensive scents that I owned at that time. And um, it was just something that I would either save for special occasions, um, not tend to use it very often. And whenever I did, I would absolutely just feel like a million bucks. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, again, if you are someone who has a super bubbly, choppy personality, I think this is going to go really, really well with your... Um, you know personality and again this is one that when people tend to notice um will give you compliments like they will give you compliments uh, is what i feel uh, that being said this one has great longevity but um, i feel like it's a little bit more close to the skin so someone who is super close to you will probably notice it and will give you compliments it's not something that has great protection great sillage but on yourself you are able to smell it throughout the time that you're wearing it and that is what i think is most important as compared to you know how much other people can smell you um so that's again something that you need to keep in mind um again i've got compliments from some of my um you know colleagues friends that i'm hanging around uh, that have told me that they really like the way i'm smelling when i'm wearing this particular perfume it's also happened that i was spraying this on me when i was in my uh, office washroom and i think one of my colleagues walked in um, of course female colleagues um, and they were like wow this perfume that you just sprayed on smells amazing and i was like thank you it's super expensive it's versace, it's versace. so um, yeah anyways that was um, an, uh, another one of the fragrances that i wanted to mention is that if you're someone who doesn't like super um, feminine sweet scents then i think this is something you're gonna really really like Moving on, next we have two body mists uh, that I wanted to talk about. One is by Bath & Body Works. Surprisingly, it's Sunset Glow. This is another one that I had a decant of that I bought from Anissa. And it's one that I actually got compliments from a couple of guys who are in my office, of course, colleagues. Uh, so they were uh, so again i sprayed this on me when i was in the office washroom and i came back uh, to you know sit at my desk and when i was passing by like the entryway of the office um a couple of guys were like hanging around there and they were like did you just spray perfume you smell really really good and i was very surprised to just receive that compliment uh, at that particular time but i was like oh thank you that was my reaction when people compliment me on my scent and like I'm caught off guard. That's how I react. Um, so yeah, this is another, um, I would say, nice tropical coconutty beachy kind of a scent. Um, so again, um, some people might say it's not of office appropriate. I think that I could pretty much wear any perfume where I'm currently working because of how chill the vibe is and how um, it's not really okay you have to be strict and professional all the time etc uh, etc et it's not that way so um, yeah for that particular reason I sprayed this body mist on me and uh, at work basically and um, again I received compliments I think it's a really really nice scent but again um, as a product per se would I recommend anyone to go out and get it um, I would personally say no just because a I think Bath & Body Works is very expensive in India as compared to what it is um, you know in the US and in the US you have so many more offers and discounts on it and the same um, pricing is not available here um, so that's kind of unfortunate I would say which makes it more expensive packaging is also pretty cheap and it's not like i would say the best quality at least it doesn't look like that and uh, of course these scents are not going to be super duper long lasting because they're body mists they're not perfumes so keeping all of these things in mind i wouldn't recommend you go out and really get this but if you are looking to buy a decant maybe trying it out figuring it out for yourself then it's a fragrance that you could probably check out uh, moving on to the other body mist that I also wanted to talk about. This one is Orchid Me Not by Plum. Now, even though I'm saying that it's a body mist, you actually can buy this in the perfume form, the EDP form too. I have owned the uh, body mist in the past. And again, this is a particular fragrance that I think is um, super nice, super feminine. Um, it's fruity, a little bit like fruity, floral, sweet, feminine, like... 
um, I would say it's something that could be a signature scent if you really 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 like the scent and um, I can tell you that you're gonna get a ton of compliments on this I've personally been complimented by this a couple of times because I had the bottle um, of the body mist in my office um, I typically either tend to have like one perfume in my office um, in like office storage or I will um, have uh, some perfume decants in my bag um, just to have on the go uh, I never want to not smell good uh, or rather I should say I never want to smell bad so if I am ever I can just quickly spray on some perfume uh, perfume on me and refresh myself that's why I always 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 need to have perfume with me on me basically uh, literally and figuratively both so um, yeah when I had the plum orchid me not body mist in my office um, and I would whenever I would spray it on me I would always receive compliments from fellow colleagues from um, other women as well who like if I would go to the washroom spray it on me and then come back and they could smell it on me they would tell me that I really smell good and sometimes they would even ask for it and I would happily give it to them so uh, yeah plum orchid me not I've received quite a few compliments from a lot of people um, including girls and guys both so yeah for me personally it's not one of my absolute favorite scents but it is one that people tend to really like on you so um, yeah I definitely wanted to mention um, the perfume that got me the most compliments towards the end of the video so yeah that is that for this video those are all the fragrances that i want to talk about i obviously have a lot more that i will feature and talk about in a different video so um yeah stay tuned for that i definitely wanted to end this video by saying that it's not important for a fragrance to get you compliments i would always recommend that you get perfumes that you like to wear and that you love to smell on yourself um but i think um, there is always that, you know, um, how do you say it? That um, excitement that you get when someone compliments your perfume. Like, I have not been complimented on a perfume uh, for a long time. Like, these are some of my older, uh, you know, com like, I've received compliments on these perfumes in the past. Um, not necessarily very, very recently. But a couple of days ago, when I was wearing a particular perfume that I have already mentioned in a previous video, it's uh, Avon Little Black Dress. I received a compliment on that from a colleague and I was like, oh, you noticed because that particular colleague of mine has never complimented me of, on any perfume that I've ever worn in the office. And the first time that I did, he gave me a compliment on Little Black Dress by Avon and I was like, oh, thank you and it had been a while so it was obviously surprising to see uh, and to receive a compliment so there is always that you know happy feeling that you get inside your stomach when someone gives you a compliment on a perfume or on the way you look or on your outfit or your makeup or anything like that so um i tend to understand why people um, you know like to know what gets compliments but at the same time, I want to tell you that it's always, uh, you know, better to wear um, things that you want to wear, uh, be it makeup, be it clothes, be it perfume, whatever. So I definitely wanted to um, end the video on that because I think it's important for us to also focus on doing what we like and not what other people like um, or rather I should say what other people want us to do. So yeah that is that for the video there was a lot of gyan in the end and i know it might sound a little bit hypocritical but um uh, if you guys know me you would know that i'm always going to be completely upfront and honest about um how i feel personally anyways i am now rambling too much um i gotta go but thank you so 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 much for watching you guys and uh, if you want to see more videos like these uh, even though they might be kind of counterproductive but uh yeah uh, if you want to see more videos like these, definitely let me know down below because I definitely have like three to four more fragrances I want to talk about. So um, we could definitely do another list in a couple of months in case you want to watch that. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye bye.